What's up guys, bringing you another FortiGate tutorial here. This time we're going to go over setting up FTM push notifications when you have users using FortiToken Mobile. So what this is going to do is right now, anytime a user uses FortiToken Mobile, if you don't have this set up, they're going to have to go into their app every time, look at the code that they were given, and then physically type that code into the login prompt. With push notifications enabled, Instead of having to do that, they'll get a notification ding right to their phone and they'll be able to approve or reject it. It makes it a little bit easier on the end user here. So in order to do that, we have to config our WAN interface, whatever interface you use for uh, your main internet connection. And you have to edit that interface and select the FTM, Administrative Access Toggle. I showed you where you can do it in the GUI right here, and then I'm also doing it in the command line. Just remember, anytime you use that set allow access command, you have to enter in all of the options over again. It overwrites what you had previously, so you can't just put set allow access FTM or it'll cancel out that ping that I had selected. You're going to hit end to save that, and then we're going to config our system FTM push settings. So here, you only have three settings that need to be configured. We're going to hit set and then we're going to type a question mark to see what they are. The server port, the server IP and the status. So for the server port, I accidentally typed set in here twice. Uh, it's going to throw an error in a second. You only need set once. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set the server port to 4433 and then set the status to enable. We want these push notifications enabled. And then for your server IP, it's gonna be whatever your public WAN interface IP is. I chose not to type mine in here, but once you put in the command set server IP, you're gonna type in your WAN interface IP and you're gonna hit enter to save it. I chose not to put my public WAN interface there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit end and it's all set up. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the video. Uh, if you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a like, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment down below um, and I'll try and mock it up in the lab and get a tutorial out for you. Uh, you guys seem to really like these 48 tutorials and it's something I deal with on the daily at work. So I'm going to keep them going. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.